Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today with a heavy heart as we announce the tragic loss of a dear friend, the Miller Sinker Wave 210. Now I know this news should not be taken lightly, but let us not be sad that it's gone, but rather happy that it was here. <laughs> Let's remember all the good times and remember with all endings come with new beginnings. My name's Taylor White and this is the all new Miller Sinker Wave 212. This machine was sent to us from our friends at Miller so we can really dive into and explore all the new exciting updates and innovations that we are getting with the next generation of the Sinker Wave platform. So right out of the gate you'll notice this machine is very compact. I mean compared to the 210, the 212 is nearly half the size. Weighing in at just under 55 pounds and the addition of integrated handles, the Sinker Wave 212 has portability like never before. This machine also includes a built-in storage and consumables compartment for your convenience that makes getting the job started that much easier. Now what do you get when you purchase a new Sinker Wave 212? We like to call machines like this an all-in-one package. So here's what's included. You get a 12 and a half foot, 150 amp torch with flow through dense connection, a 15 foot electrode holder cable and 15 foot work clamp, a heavy duty wired foot control with 20 foot cord and a 14 pin plug, your regulator and gas hose, two six and a half foot power cables, and a basic consumables kit. This machine comes ready for 120 to 220 volt single phase input power thanks to the included interchangeable power cables. A great touch here is the locking connection on the power cable, so no more accidental unplugging mid-well. And a nice little added bonus of a material thickness gauge. Pretty much everything you need to start welding is included. All you need is filler metal and shielding gas. Available at CK Supply. Miller is offering a few different purchase configurations for the 212, and what we have here is the standard ready-to-weld pack. But you can also elect for two other options. The first is the ready to weld package, but with the addition of a water cooler. The water cooled version utilizes the Coolmate 1S that has a one gallon reservoir. If you order the standard ready to weld package, but you decide later on that you want to add the water cooler, then you can easily make that up. The third option is the spool gun package. This package includes everything in the air cooled ready to weld package, but with the addition of a spool gun. And if you need a cart for your new Sinker Wave 212 setup, then that is available as well. So overall, a great package that is well thought out to match your various fabrication needs. Miller nailed the design ethos here. Simplicity without complication. Welding is hard enough without the added confusion of setting machine, which is always a big complaint I see from teaching welding classes. It's almost as if you need a separate set of skills as a welder just to set up your machine. I can't overstate how important an intuitive setup is and the Sinker Wave 212 delivers. So the 212 features a 4.3 inch LCD screen which makes setting up the machine super easy. Jumping right into the interface, we can see it has a nice protective lens over the screen, keeping it safe and protected, so no worries about any sparks or specs. Starting from the home screen, we can see only a few options we can select. Number one being process. Selecting process gives us our options for DC TIG, stick, and AC TIG, with lift arc and high frequency being optional, and also our selection for the spool gun. Our trigger selection is going to determine if we are initiating the arc by foot pedal or finger control. AC wave selection is going to give us our frequency and balance settings for TIG welding aluminum. And the tungsten tab shows you appropriate tungstens to use by color and diameter selection. If you select your weld process, we also get the pulse tab. And with the dynamic display, it gives you visual and written information which is super helpful to those hobbyist welders who just want to get the job done. When selecting stick welding, you can hit setup and adjust dig percentage or hot start for whatever your preference may be. Selecting MIG spool gun will allow you to select wire type, diameter, and a calibration option which is simple to navigate to. And finally, the feature that really helps the Sinker Wave 212 shine is the auto set and pro set features. 
A five-step selection allows for seamless machine setup with parameters that should line you up for success. First, hit Auto Set, then select which process you will be using. For this, I will select TIG. Next, select Material Type, followed by Material Thickness and Joint Configuration. This is very neat how the dynamic display shows the joint type. Lastly, choose your tungsten size. After you enter all your details, it confirms your selections and gives you the proper welding parameters and recommendations for flow rates, cup sizes, and filler metal. This makes setting up for a job as easy as possible. And finally, our menu selection offers us our system information, post flow selection, language options, and our water cooler setup. So that's it for the interface. Simple, intuitive, straightforward, not filled with the unnecessary fluff. Everything we look for in these new advanced machines. And now for the moment of truth. Let's see how she performs. All right, everyone, our final thoughts on this bad boy. We have a great portable compact design along with an intuitive and simple interface. And at this price point, if you can live without the internal MIG option, this would make an excellent setup for a variety of welders. I think Miller has done a great job bringing this machine to the light to medium fab market. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if one of these made its way into my own garage. So that's all for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed our showcasing of the new Miller Synchro Wave 212. And a big thanks again to our friends at Miller for giving us the opportunity to show you all the next generation of these machines. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you next time. Oh my god, that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. <laughs>